Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Meryl and today I'm going to be doing like a classic kind of makeup look. Do like a red eye, a red eye, classic. We're going to do like a, a red lip rather, this little red lip, cute, cute, cute. And a classic, stop saying classic, why are you saying classic so like every second word? Mm. We're going to do like, a, <laughs> I was about to say it again. I'm going to go in with my Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector and this is in the shade Light to Medium. And you do not need a lot of this stuff. I'm going to, going to take it on my finger and just pat it under my under eyes just to help brighten and to cover up my dark circles. Does anybody else feel like they were born with fucking dark circles under their eyes? I feel like if I look back at like baby photos, it looks like I was never sleeping. Although I always slept as a child. I loved to sleep. I, I loved to sleep. But like, even like my young child photos, I have like dark circles. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Way. I'm just gonna wet my beauty sponge. Um, if I ever forget to wet it, I always have like a little bottle of water. And I just spritz it into here. And then I also like, on my desk here, I have a towel. So I just like squish off the water into that towel. And I do wash my beauty blender. I wash it like every twice, every twice, that's good English. I wash it like every second time I do my makeup. I don't know, is that gross? How many times do you wash your beauty blender? I am going to take my Hourglass Vanish Concealer. I love this product. It is like, it's way too good. It's so good. I, you, if you saw my last video, you know how much I love it. And if you want to find out how much I love it, go watch my last video. Um, I'm going to use this in the shade Cedar. And you really don't need a lot of this product. Like a lot, a little goes a long way. So I'm just going to take it under my eyes here. And on the bridge of my nose, I had a little bit of redness on the corners of my nose and a little tiny little breakout over here that I would like to cover and then just the normal spots that I put it on like I don't know this might be a lot but this product is so nice and it blends out so well so like I just don't even think it's gonna be an issue Okay, next I'm going to be taking, I want to take my Bite Beauty Change Maker Foundation, but I'm going to try this concealer with this foundation. This is like one of my favorite foundations. I love this. It's so, so much. It's so nice. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Formula, and I'm just going to take one pump of that onto my little palette. And like, I might need a little bit more, but I'll start with that. And I'm just going to take it on my finger and just kind of pat it in the places that I want to add coverage. Okay, we'll start with that amount of product. It looks like it's a pretty good amount. Like, I don't think I'll need to add more. And I'm just going to take my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and pat all of that in. I am really liking the way this concealer and foundation is looking together. I'm going to let the products kind of settle into my skin for a few minutes and I'm going to do my eyebrows while I wait for that. And I am taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, and this is in the shade Soft Brown.
I just am going in with my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel to hold these in place. Although this product seems to be like it doesn't look like it's running out, but it's almost like the hold of the product is running out. I don't know if that is possible to happen, but that's the way that I feel about it. Okay, so we've got our brows on. We're gonna move back to the rest of the face here. I'm Italian, okay? I talk a lot with my hands. You're lucky that it's only like my head in the frame because my hands are just like having the time of their life down here. <laughs> Anyways, we are going to go into the rest of the face here. I think I wanna take my butter bronzer. This stuff is so nice and it smells delicious. Oh, it just smells like you're at the beach, like you have like some Hawaiian, what is that sunscreen brand? Hawaiian Tropics? Yes. It smells like you have like some Hawaiian Tropics on your skin, you're like in the sun. Um, you have like a pina colada in your hand and like it's just the smell of the ocean. Like if all of those things were put into one scent, I feel like that's what this would be. A pina colada sunscreen. <laughs> I mean, I'd probably use a sunscreen that's really like feeling a lot of It's very warm. Do I regret this decision? It's too late now, honestly. I'm just gonna go in with it. Look at this fucking elf hair. I look like I'm from Lord of the Rings with that. Okay, whatever's left over on the brush, you don't probably need to pick up more product like I just did. And then just kind of sweep it over the bridge of your nose so that it doesn't just look like your forehead and your sun, like your forehead and your cheeks got a suntan. It looks like your whole face did. Now to go in to fix this little forehead situation you can just take your beauty sponge or your brush if you're using a brush I might even pull out a brush that already has product on it in a second to fix this if I can oh okay so you can just take your beauty sponge and kind of pat around the areas that you want to correct I should really just tie my fucking hair up but it I'm not going to Sorry. Okay, we've got our bronzer on. Now we're gonna go in with my favorite highlighter, the Kaja Moshi Glow Highlighter. And this is in the shade Toy Alien. It is so pretty. This is like my favorite highlighter I've ever probably used. I mean, what other highlight have I used that I love? I mean, aside from Champagne Pop, that shit is beautiful. Um, I read the back of the packaging and it said it was like a bouncy cushion, bouncy cushiony highlight. So the back of the package instructed you to use your finger to apply. And I did do that once I had read the package, like a normal person would do. Um, anyways, so I'm going to use this on the back of my, or on my, the fucking pad of my finger. Pad of my finger? That sounds like I'm a dog. Dogs don't have fingers. Okay. <sighs> So take this, this was probably too much now because I messed the rest of it. I'm just going to pat that on. Oh yes. So, 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 so pretty. And wow, these two products here look really, really good together. Okay, that looks super pretty. I am obsessed with it. And now I'm going to go in with a blush. This is the Tarte blush. I think I got this as a Sephora gift or something, but it's really pretty. And this is in the shade Party. Okay, I'm going to take this blush on a Real Techniques multitasking cheek brush. And just start on the like lower apple of my cheek, the lower part of the apple of my cheek, and then just kind of sweep it up. Like if there was like a gap from where the high, or, if there was like a space, like the highlighter goes on top, the highlighter usually goes like right on your cheekbone and the contour or bronzer usually goes right under your cheekbone. So for me, I've been 
like lately I've been placing the blush kind of like right in the middle kind of like to tie them both together but obviously not like a, a harsh line but just to kind of like tie them all together and blend all the edges in you know and I think that it looks really pretty placed there I think I'm gonna take a little bit of powder and just kind of powder my chin and my forehead just because it looks a little bit shiny with this light so I'm gonna take my hourglass uh, what is this hourglass this is my hourglass veil translucent setting powder I think this is a blush brush I'm just gonna take this blush edge or this brush Okay, I've set the areas of my face that I would like to be set. Now I'm going to move on to the eyes. I am going to be taking my Fenty True Neutrals number one palette. I love this palette, it's so pretty. We're not gonna do anything too crazy. We're just gonna do like a little bit of depth right in the crease and then a nice shimmer and then a really pretty um, sparkle on top. Shimmer and sparkle is the same thing. I meant to say a really pretty wing. I'm going to take my Farah 35E brush. This is like a really good all over lid brush. I'm gonna be taking this shade right here and it is called Nookie Rookie. And it's just like a perfect base shade. So I'm gonna take that all over my lid here so that we have a good base for when we're layering a couple of other products on. Now I'm going to take the shade, I think I'm just going to take this shade right here, this middle shade, and that one is called um, Come and Get It, right there. And I'm just going to take that on um, Sigma brush, and this is a Sigma E37, and this is an all over blend brush just like kind of nice dense bristles. And I'm not going too intense on the um, crease shade because I'm gonna be doing a winged eyeliner and I want the wing to kind of be the focus of the eye. Um, I'm just putting the crease shade in just to give it a little bit of depth and to not look like a blank eyelid. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. That would also look really pretty, but I just kind of want to add a bit of color. And now I'm just gonna take the brush that we used first just to kind of sweep over the edge here, just to make sure everything's all nice and blended and to just mute it a little bit. And then now I'm gonna take the shade right here, and this one is called Simmer Down. Really pretty shade. And I'm just gonna take that on my finger for now and see if I get the, uh, the payoff that I'm looking for. So I'm just gonna take this on my finger. Oh my God, it's so pretty. This is exactly the color I was hoping for. This would even be like such a beautiful highlight shade. Okay, I think I'm gonna do the under the bottom um, lash line as well, just so that like once I put the eyeliner on, I don't have to worry about smudging anything or anything like that. So I'm gonna go in with that little, where's that little brush? This one here, this is called, I don't know, once again, this is just called, it's just a London look. Um, it's a great little dent. Why did I show you the bottom? I'm just taking that shade, come and get it. That's looking pretty. And I'm just gonna take this fluffy brush again and just kind of sweep under. Just to really blend it all in. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade um, Simma Down, which is the shadow shade, or sorry, the shimmery shade that we were using. And I'm just gonna take it to the inner corner 
of my eye to give it some light in there. So now we're gonna start with our winged eyeliner. And um, if you're not super comfortable doing a winged eyeliner or you're still trying to practice, you know, um, a good way to start out is by taking a, an eyeshadow and starting to kind of map out where you want your wing to go. Because it's always, it's easy to correct an eyeshadow um, line rather than going right in with like a liquid pen. It's something that's gonna dry a lot quicker. So I'm gonna take my um, Fenty Number no. One Neutrals palette and I'm going to take this shade right here, and this one is called Affogato. So I'm just gonna start to map out where I want my wing to go. And you really just want the product like right on the, um, right on the very top of the bristles. You don't want it all over the sides of the brush or else it'll start to get a little bit messy. So you wanna start with like really small kind of strokes, you know, you don't wanna just go straight in and draw a line across the whole entire eyelid unless you're comfortable doing that, but it's easier to start off by just doing little tiny strokes. And it'll definitely be a little bit thicker with an eyeshadow and a brush, but you can always go back in after you've got the black liquid on and you can always go back in with the shimmery brush that you were using and just kind of you know get rid of the kind of shadow that will be beh like behind the uh, liquid liner does that make sense i don't know <laughs> So you see how I have like, it's not a super defined wing. There's like a little bit of a fuck up there. So you can take a clean liner brush. Let me find what this is one I'm looking for. So this is just a Smith 212 brush and it's just like a flat, just like a flat top brush. So I'm gonna take this, there's no, there's no product on this brush, not even uh, makeup remover or anything. And I'm just gonna take it and kind of sweep away the unwanted product and already you can see it's like much more clean and it doesn't need to be perfect because we're going to go back on top with a black liner anyways just as long as you have like the the shape that you're going for um kind of mapped out with the eyeshadow to make it a bit easier to apply the liquid liner okay so i'm pretty happy with the way that those two lines look um, it might be a little bit time consuming at first, but once you get the hang of it, you can eventually skip the eyeshadow step and then you just jump right into the liquid eyeliner step. Or if you feel comfortable and confident enough to just jump right in, then yeah, you go right ahead. So I'm going to take this Stila uh, Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Let me try that again. So I'm gonna take the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner and I'm going to start on the inner corner and then make my way to the outer corner. easy like you just like follow the eyeshadow and then yeah you just get like a perfect little wing and once again I'm just gonna take that brush that I used to clean up the eyeshadow on uh, the eyeshadow line on this side and just kind of perfect any little so this one is like a little bit more curved um, and I like the way that this one looks much better, so I'm gonna try to mimic it on this side. I think they look even enough. This one is definitely a little bit more curvy, but that's okay. Once you pop on some eyelashes, if that's what- or even apply mascara, like, the little differences won't really be that noticeable. 
I'm going to curl my eyelashes now and then we're going to apply some um, lashes. And I still hate this mascara. CoverGirl Exhibitionist. I actually haven't even worn mascara for the last couple of days because I just hate it so much. For some reason it looks okay when I put eye, um, sorry, when I put eyeliner on, but without, oh fuck off. Okay, so I just got some mascara onto my little face here and I'm gonna let it dry and then you can just scrape it off with a clean spoolie after and it flakes right off. So I'm not even gonna like worry about that. I'm gonna, that'll be like the last thing I do because I don't wanna um, move around the products that are under that. So I'm just gonna let it sit and dry and then we will deal with it in a couple of minutes. So I'm going to take these eyelashes here I, from the brand Kala um, and I just got these at Winners. They're super pretty though, but they are too long. So I will be trimming them. And I'm going to take my Tarte eyelash glue. Okay, while I wait for the glue to dry on my eyelashes, I can actually probably scrape off this little bit of mascara now. So you just want to take a clean spoolie and then just very lightly scrape at the product there. And it's like, it's like stuck on a, I can see it like on a face hair but you got it off, it's all gone. And then if you want, you can take your little sponge and just kind of dab over that area. Okay, now to apply the eyelashes, we are going to take our mirror and look down into it so that you don't have to like, it's just like, it's easy because you could just kind of plop the eyelash right on top without having to overthink it, you know? It's like, it can be kind of stressful sometimes putting on eyelashes and if you just take your mirror and look straight down into it and just place it right on top. Why do I always try to do this with my left hand? I honestly couldn't tell you. And then I'm going to just let that dry for a few seconds. And then once the glue is mostly dry, I'm going to take my fingers and pinch the lash band and my natural lashes right at the root together, just so it blends it. And it's like, it's kind of like using um, an eyelash curler, except like, you know, it's your own finger. So if you're nervous about eyelash curlers, you don't have to worry about them. You just take your fingers and pinch. Okay. We are almost done. I'm going to actually take a little bit of highlight onto my brow bone and I will take my Kaja Moshi Glow highlight and this is in the shade Toy Alien, the same one that we use on our cheekbone and I might even take a little bit extra, pop it onto the cheekbone for a little bit more highlight action. Oh yeah. Fuck yeah. You know, I like it with the, with the finger but it's just so nice with the applied with the sponge. Okay, now it is time to move on to the lips. And we're going in with a red lip today. Actually, I'm gonna finish off the eyes super quick and just put some put some mascara on my bottom lashes. And I just for some reason I feel like my bronzer has kind of disappeared. Let's see, let's just add a bit more. Now we're gonna move on to the lips. Um, so personally, I find it easier, and I find that I get a way more precise application when I do the lipstick first, especially with the red lip, because then like you get all of the majority of the product onto the lip and then you can go in and fine tune the lines with the lip liner afterwards, instead of like trying to like draw on the line and it might be a little bit shaky. So with when you apply the lipstick first, maybe you don't go all the way to the edge of the lip and you can fill it in then with the um, liner, but that's just the way I find it to be easiest. I am taking my Chanel Rouge Alert Velvet in the shade 56. It's a super pretty lipstick. It's broken though, which is sad as fuck, but it still works. So we're gonna use it. It's a beautiful color. And I've already got on my uh, chapstick and that just kind of helps the lipstick um, apply, like glide right on, you know?
Okay, and I've got the majority of the lip color on now. I mean, I mean it is on. So now I'm gonna go in and fine tooth it with um, my lip liner here. And this is the Chanel Precision Lip Definer. Um, and this is in the shade 95. didn't even put the highlight on my eyebrow bone so let's do that now now we can just go over top with some setting spray and I'm just using my Mac fix plus okay everybody and this is our finished look It. I think it looks so pretty and I really do like using the hourglass concealer with this Smashbox um, foundation I think that these two worked really well together and they look really pretty thank you so much for watching my video today if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel I will have all of the products I used in today's video in the description box below and I'll also put my instagram username down there as well um, thank you again so much for watching. I will see you next time. Oh, I Bye. I just read this pencil and it says that it's called Scarlet, not 95.